I need some shoes with a grip. <laughs> Good morning. Hey. My name's Jamie. And I'm Jan. We would like to invite you today to join us as we go and explore Rivington Pike and the terrace gardens below. Come with us. Join us. So, we've parked at Rivington Hall Barn. Last time Jan was here, he was rather drunk. <laughs> it was his, whose wedding was it? Uh, my friend Liam's. So, a bit more sober today. <laughs> the first time I came here was when I was doing my Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award when I was 15. Popular hangout for the bikers normally. Yep. Pre COVID. <laughs> hey! 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. Absolutely lovely day. Well, not lovely, but temperature wise, it's fine. It's, it's quiet. Gonna be quite a bit of climbing to start off with, isn't it, Ian? Yeah. What have we spotted? Bear. Who's your friends, Jan? Bad boys. <laughs> any of you who follow the channel, any of the 30 subscribers, may already know Jan from the Forest of Boland Walk. Yeah, that was nearly four years ago now, wasn't wow, it? Wow, that's gone fast. Yeah. Done plenty of stuff since. Went to Bratislava. Yep. Jan does a mean dinosaur impression better than me. We've got the fluffy hair on today. Straight from the bath, straight from the bed. Oh, yes, please. They always said I liked you. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. This man always has a ready supply of Starburst. <laughs> Previously known as the opal fruit. Mm. Oh, yes. Right up, please, sir, right <laughs> <laughs> This walk today, Ann, is going to involve a lot of climbing. Let the climb begin. Are we there yet? <laughs> You're too old. <laughs> Amateurs, we're going, I think, the alternative route, the steep steps. Yeah, run it as well. Shout double out, you are. Just run, Jan, run. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's I am knackered. Make me sound like a couple of asthmatic warthogs. <sighs> Jeez. Good workout. <laughs> That translates as, this is the Pigeon Tower in Pigeon. <laughs> Let us just take a moment, or ten, to stand and admire the Pigeon Tower while we regain our force. Are you all right? Got a stick in the eye. Stuck in the wind. The wind has oh, been broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're climbing above the tree line. Oh, it's nice. It's still it's all there. right, mate, isn't it? Refreshing. Jan, do you have any words for the people of Chorley? We're still in the cob. 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 Bleib stark, mein Freund. Wir sind gleich da. The Tower of the Pigeons. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bloody thing I was leaving for. <laughs> <laughs> it 
windy. I lost it. Jump down. No. <laughs> Bit high in it. Safety first. Always. Expect to see some massive tower on the hill, like the Eye of Sauron and all that. Yeah, very, uh, very Tolkienian. Yeah, sort of word. Tolkienian. It is now. We've made it up. We've officialised it. I got a boo boo. Your selfie stick attacked me. <laughs> <sighs> nice day for it. Shame we're out walking. Me. Is it really nice? Game of Thrones. Shame. 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 I'm sure they've been doing all this up a bit recently, haven't they? The Italian lake. Yeah, this would be, I'm not joking, a quality place to make a movie, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, that's what we're doing now. We're making our movie, but somewhere where we all dress up and have swords and... Very Tolkienian. Tolkienian. Tolkien. <laughs> I challenge you, Jan Adamus of Chorley, to a race. Not to the death, but up the steps. You're on, sir. Let's do this again at a more leisurely pace. Yeah. Oh. Italian gardens there with the end. Left or right? Right. Right you are, sir. Because we can't go the wrong oh. way. Nice. <sighs> I am absolutely knackered. Nice and fresh, isn't it though? It is. You do have the feeling of kind of being abroad here, don't you? Yeah, this particular area, you're right, yeah. Es ist ein merkwürdiges Gefühl. Jamie! Hello! I need to ask you a question. Yes, where always. Did, where did you learn your German, sir? Um, I didn't do it at school. It was after I finished my A-levels. I went and did GCSE at night school at St. Helens College. Um, and after I graduated in French and Russian at uni, I threw myself in the deep end and moved to Germany. Lived there for a year, a school year. And then when I came back, I got a job working for Emirates Airlines, taking French and German calls. So after four years, all day, every day, taking German calls, you get to a certain level. What did it say this was? The entrance to Belmont Lodge? <laughs> He's going checking the sign. Belmont Lodge entrance. And here, this is where the giants come to plug in their phone to recharge. <laughs> Tell you what, actually, that being the pigeon tower, that probably used to have little pigeon things in it, didn't it? And if we swing round from the pigeon tower, behold, the pike. Just like the captain of the Enterprise before Kirk. Yeah, them episodes scare me with the big brain the people, Tolosians, yeah. Cool though. They were cool, yeah. They had high-pitched voices. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We can see the sun in the puddle. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Jan is wet! Jan is wet! We love the pike. We love the pike, we do. Jan, the big giant. Where's that phone charger? <laughs> <laughs> How high is the pike, Jan? Uh, I'm not about the captain. Let me just check my onboard computer. The elevation of Rivington Pike is 363 metres. Woo! 
Oh, it's windy. Look at this yarn. Right, now the next climb begins. These steps are a pretty recent invention. I mean, not steps in general, but these steps, <laughs> these were added in what, 2008? Really? To oh. avoid or to reduce erosion. Hello, doggy. All the people, so many people, out on Rivy Pike Park Life. Norway, apart from the fat Boltons over there. <laughs> oh, you're going. Woo! Tear to our eyes. And there we have the edge of the town, seen from the hill. There you can see the wind shaking the camera about the place. I'm ready for some footies. Thank you very much. Jeez, mate, I need some shoes with a grip. Jesus. Let's try this again. Time to finish this. <laughs> You know what? Let's just slide down. Oh, hey! No slide! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that it? So we survived the hill. We're safe. Just about. This is the last little bit. Watch me go over again now. Indeed! Whooping snakes! <laughs> Alright, heading back down now. Let's go and investigate the gardens. Oh yeah. Hey, there's that big castle thing, isn't there? Oh, the Liverpool Castle, yeah. So shiny. Shiny. Oh, oh, oh. Like my some bars. you want to do? Makes me want to go to a nice warm tavern and drink a flag of the veil and dance around the fire. I like the sound of that. We didn't even get any pictures of us jumping, did we? I know, I don't think it would have been a good idea to be honest. We'd have, we'd have blown away in the wind, mate. 26 minutes from Liverpool Castle. Oh 
We're taking the shortcut. <laughs> she says, this is the bit where we get lost. So that round bit, that pond, was the Japanese garden. Ah. Mate, there's a ravine down here somewhere. We need to find it. Ravine. Avril Ravine. Avril Ravine. <laughs> Forget the path. We're going the straightest route. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slippy path with the leaves on it. Sends your eyes west, as Coral would say, looking at these trees, looking down. Ooh, we think we found her. Avril Ravine. So much for my happy ending. Whoa, whoa. You're going to climb it? Yeah. Have I got to go up and join him? Like it. All right, let's go. So schnell wie möglich. Come, we're going. Troll got me! <laughs> Hello there! I lost the roll for myself so sober as a priest on Sunday. Wait! Right. The ravine! This was actually a bit of a detour, because we do need to be down there, where we just came from. It's worth it though. Good climb. So majestic. There she is, the Avril. I have heard there are velociraptors in these woods. <gasps> Clever girl! <laughs> it got me! <laughs> A silent scene without words. Shall we have our chunky? Yeah. Final approach to Liverpool Castle. And I still don't get why it's called Liverpool Castle, even though we're in Rivington. Yeah. Do you know why it's called Liverpool Castle? I'm going to find that out now via the magic of Wikipedia. Yeah, hello viewers. Um, basically, I've done a bit of research by the internet, obviously. Uh, Liverpool Castle has got its name because it's a replica of the actual Liverpool Castle, which is in Liverpool, which is now demolished. Oh, right. That's basically it. Well, my name you. Good to know. Caveman. Yeah. Not a caveman, he's a caveman! <laughs> <laughs> we'll save you, fair maid Marion. Which way to Sherwood, little John? Excelsior! <laughs> so. Welcome, viewers, welcome followers, to Liverpool Castle, a replica of the demolished Liverpool Castle. Will he make it? Will he not? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Well, let's continue our exploration. Enough silliness for now. Oh, the inner sanctum. Did it happen to tell you what year this was built? This recreation. Uh, the Riverton Replica Club was uh, commissioned in 1912 by William Hesketh uh, Lever, Lord Leverhulme. Mm. I guess that will be the same Lever fella who did Port Sunlight on the Wirral. Correct. Sir. So, we leave the castle behind us and we're going to head back towards the car because we've had far too much fun for one, one day, day already. Oh. 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 Easy girl. You've got a lovely pony there, mate. Do you mind if I feed her? Thank you, of course you can feed her. We're on the straight and narrow now. Straight and narrow. Being sensible on the road for a little while. The scene is very sort of lake districty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. There's a lake and some sheep. Meh. Oh. We would have loved to have a little drinky poos here. But the bloody COVID disease has spoiled everything. Yeah. At least we've still got nature, eh? Yeah. We've got each other. <laughs> Brand new, isn't it? Yep. Rivington Hall Barn. All we do, mate. Is go up there and then we're at the car. Explain what happened last time we walked up here. Oh, um, a bit of drama to be honest. Uh, here we were, similar situation, me and you walking along. Yeah. And a lady on a, a real horse next to us. Videoing. Yeah, like us. Yeah. But videoing herself on a horse riding. Yeah. And as we watched the scene unfold, it was like it was in slow motion, wasn't it? Yeah, she had a tumble. Fell uh, right off the horse. The horse trampled on her. And, um, and then the horse yeah. legged it. Yes. And we came to her rescue, kind of. Got an ambulance. Yeah, stayed with her. Found a Polish lady who was horse trained who got the horse back. Mm -hmm. You got her husband down, didn't you? I ich bin der Musikmann. Ich komme von weit her und ich kann spielen. Was kannst du spielen? Ich spiele die Mundharmonika. Skibbity wap ba 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 ba. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Honey. One thing we would like to know is how many people actually watch these videos to the end? Yep, exactly. If you could hit the subscribe button below, we would know for sure that you made the end of the video. Thank you very much for joining us. Any last words, Jan? Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. What he said. See you later. <laughs> oh no! Right, what we're gonna do, because I won the upstairs bit, I'm just gonna cut out the second half of the video for YouTube. 